YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my video. This video, I'm going to talk about how to maintain box braids when you have relaxed hair. So, um, if you want to know how to do that, keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I'm Kimberly. Nice to meet you. If you're coming back, thank you. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out on any of the great hair, makeup, nail, beauty videos that I do here for the channel. Also, um, hit the like button if you like this video, that way I know to make more videos like this, alright? So, um, now let's get into it. Um, if you are new to the channel, I go back and forth between a couple of hairstyles, but um, box braids are in my rotation. This summer, I was definitely on a braidcation. It was amazing. I loved it. I had two different sets of box braids, like a black set, and then I had like a coppery set. Super fun. And um, unfortunately, though, that time is up, and now I'm back to doing my hair. But um, I mean, now I'm back to wigs because, you know, girl. Um, yeah, so, but I want to talk about how I maintained and took care of my braids because I have relaxed hair and how that is different from people with other types of hair. So, relaxed hair is important that it is moisturized because it is high porosity hair. The moisture is kind of in and out, in and out. It doesn't really want to stay in the hair. So, you have to go above and beyond to take those extra steps in order to continually moisturize and take care of your hair. So, that way, while it's in the box braids, it won't break off. So, this is more of like a maintenance video of what you should be doing while you're wearing the braids. But just a insert note here. Um, before you get the braids, you need to trim your ends um, because your hair, you're not going to be able to access it while it's in the braids. Most people, you wear your braids for at least three to four weeks. Um, theoretically, you're supposed to be getting trims every six weeks. So before you get into the braids, you want to make sure you trim your hair because if you don't trim your hair before you get the braids, when you take the braids out, your hair is going to look horrible, okay? So trim your hair before you get the braids. Now, you go, you get the braids, the braids are in. I don't, I didn't bring all of the products because it's more of like a daily maintenance thing, but you have to wash and take care of your braids the same way you do with your relaxed hair. So every two weeks, whatever clarifying shampoo you use or moisturizing shampoo um, or flipping back and forth. So it's the first wash, maybe um, a moisturizing shampoo, maybe the second two, maybe the next two weeks hit it with the clarifying shampoo. Um, if you're not taking your braids out, but you want to shampoo your braids, you want to deep condition your braids, and when you do this process, some people, you could put the ends of the braids in a ponytail or like a knot, but when I wash my braids, I wash the whole braid, because especially whatever dirt is on my scalp, the dirt is on the ends too, so it's migrating, it's not like it's just staying up at the scalp, so I wash the whole, all the braids, and then I blow dry all the braids, and it takes a really long time, so that's why some people just wash the scalp, but you know, everybody needs to be clean, because everybody's getting in my bed, so, but that's a whole nother thing. Okay, so, wash and deep condition your braids every two weeks. So, if your braids are washed, deep conditioned, what do you do next? Next, you're going to want to put leave-in conditioner. So, I use Affigy Serious Care and Protection Pro Vitamin Leave-In. That was $7.99 at the Beauty Supply. So, what you do is you get this, and then you get you one of these. This is a hair mister. This is the one from Pattern Beauty. It does not have to be the one from Pattern Beauty. There are a lot of similar ones out there. But, you just want to get the hair mister. You're going to fill this up with one-fourth leave-in and three-fourths water then you're going to put it on and you're going to mist all in the roots you're going to mist the ends and keep the whole thing misty misted all right so that is the first step now i'm going to show you what you do next all right so what you're going to do now that you already misted it with leave-in it should be a little damp you're going to then go in with a care moisturizing cream product and cover your braids from root to tip. Now, putting these products repeatedly on the Kankalon braiding hair starts to make them soft over time. So I really love that about this process too, but it's going to help make sure that your relaxed hair and the braids is moisturized. So I use Pink Luster's Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion, the original version. So what you're going to do is um, take some, I got the one big enough for the pump pump, rub it in your hands. You want to start massaging the roots and then go all the way down the lengths of the braids until you get to the bottom. 
after you put the cream next you want to make sure you're paying extra attention to your edges a lot of times with braids we're pulling them in buns we're doing little ponytails we're doing all different styles and they're causing tension on those edge braids so you want to go in with some organic root stimulator fertilizing temple balm and you want to put that on the front of your braids um <sighs> I understand team baby hairs lay the edges all that good stuff but it's more important to have some edges to lay than keep putting gel on them all the time so yes if you have a special occasion you're trying to go out and look particularly snatched you know then do your edge control whatever may have you but um this is what you need to be doing on the regular because that edge control is just alcohol that is drying up your edges and um, you want them to be growing and flourishing, not dry and crackling. So lastly, you want to cover your braids with oil. Um, a little TV magic, uh, movie magic not happening because I just bent down to grab it. This is Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. You can really use any oil. Um, I like the Cantu Oil by uh, Angela C. Styles. I like her oil too. But, um... This oil is just affordable. It's $5.99. You can make your own oil. There's a lot of people out there who they like take the jojoba and the coconut and the olive oil and they mix their own oils at their house. Um, any kind of hair oil will do. Like I said, this one is just $5, so it's like affordable. But um, you put this on top of the cream and then again, starting with the roots and moisturizing through the ends of your braids. Now, your hair should be fine if you do that for three days. For three days, you're going to be good. If you are living a life where you go outside for a little bit, come in, you're mostly indoors, that kind of stuff. If you are on vacation in direct sunlight, your hair is getting chlorine water, ocean water, the, you work outdoors, you're probably going to have to do this every other day because the heat and the outsideness of it all is going to help stuff evaporate moisture from your braids and your hair which is the opposite when you have relaxed hair you want your braids to be soft and moisturized so that way your hair is soft and moisturized on the inside of them so if you do work outdoors or like I said you're at the beach you're on vacation um especially for summertime braids if you're like going to amusement parks every other day like if you are outside outside in the heat or if you live in a really humid place you might have to do this every other day or every two days um because really the goal is to keep those braids supple that's literally how you want them to feel is supple um if they feel hard dry then that means your hair inside is hard and dry so um we want to continually make sure you're doing that process in between your washes and deep conditions and that is going to be how you keep your hair relaxed and on your head while you have box braids um i personally try not to go past eight weeks with my box braids um once you get past that point uh the you have so much new growth that is a lot of tension on that line of demarcation where it's your relaxed hair versus your natural hair plus when you go back with the oil to break up the gook and detangle your hair you don't want it to be so much build up and stuff in there just because you had your braids for 88 weeks so um, I've also seen these videos of people who their hair grows out so they take the crochet hook and they pull the braid through the new growth. Do not do that if you have a relaxer. Like I said, you already have that line of demarcation where your hair is weak and not as strong because it's half relaxed, half natural. So do not play those kinds of games at that point. Take your braids out and find a new style because you'll be causing more damage to your hair when you start playing those games, alright? So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope it was helpful. It's funny, four years ago I did a video about saying that I would never get box braids again because my hair was just so destroyed after box braids. And it's because I did not take care of my box braids and I did not do what was best for my hair. Um, so now that I know, you know, you knew better, you do better. So I'm doing better and I'm hoping to spread this message to a lot of people with relaxed hair so many people with relaxed hair are like oh my god braids destroyed my hair and it's like no you didn't take care of the braids so that way that's why your hair was destroyed in the end so um take care of the braids so they will take care of you and keep your relaxed hair on your head all right so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and i'll see you next time bye